Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the settings tab. And I want to point out that in the dashboard, as we make changes, some things may be shuffled around. For an example, for an example, this request review button has been added, and that's part of the reputation section. Okay, so if you see things in these videos that, that change and shuffle around, don't be alarmed. As we make updates, we have to make room for other modules and things like that. When we put that button in, it put the support tab all the way to the bottom. So you may flip flop training and support. It's, everything is going to still be here that you have access to. So let's get right into the settings. Let's click right down here in the settings. And this is where you'll change basically all your master type account level settings. Okay. On this first one under profile, you can be able to put your personal logo in here have your name, first name, last name, email, you have a phone number, you can have your extension, you can update that. And then you can put in email signature, make sure you hit save. And then you can change your password. Okay, that's the profile settings. Now under company, again, you can put your company logo, change the name, your contact details, this API key, you'll need for connecting to like Zapier or other integrations. And so, so use this with Zapier and API integration. So you can cover over these question marks and they'll explain things to you. And then you have your company address, time zone. If it's not correct, email support. If you want to, some settings, if you want to allow duplicate contact, so you can have the same contact in your contacts multiple times, you can allow a duplicate opportunity. You can merge Facebook contacts by name and disable contact time zone. And then let's go through the email. Now this is going to be for your review us section. That's part of this review button. So you'll be able to fill this out uh, and then you'll be able to put your Google places link down here, which I'll show, we'll show you how, later on how to do. And then SMS is what you want your text messages to say. Customize communication. Now this is like when the send requests out be automatic. You can send it to decide when you want to send those out. And then same thing with SMS, when you want the SMS sent out automatically, make sure you hit save. Review widget, if you want to put a review widget on your website, you can have HTML or you can have visual, uh, what, it's going, what it would look like. You can have a review as it populates here, what your reviews are, you can put this in here. If you know code, you can change the width and things over here. Uh, you change the colors, uh, disable a powered by, you disable that. So if you want, if I want, it, want that gone, you can leave it on or take it off. And then what it would look like on a cell phone, tablet, and a computer. So then we have the appointment widget. This won't change, but this is the pop-up. If you had a, an appointment, uh, a calendar already set up, which we do in this account for demo purposes only, because I preloaded this account with the a custom local snapshot, which set, has all that pre-populated for you. So that's where you'd be able to get your pop-up and your embed widget for the appointment widget. And pipelines. Okay, this is very important, and we'll talk about that with opportunities when I show you that. But pipelines, this will be able to show you different pipelines. So you'll be able to look at different stages of your sales pipeline. So like on this one has new leads, they come in here. And then when a certain action hot happens, a trigger fires and they become hot leads. And then when they request an appointment, they get go over to booking request. And then once we confirm the appointment, they become a confirmed booking confirmed. And then when they complete the survey, they, they join this pipeline. So it's a good way to sit like each stage of your business, your sales cycle to see who is in what stage and maybe where the bottleneck is. That's what pipelines are for. Integrations. This is where you'll be able to connect to like Google, Facebook, Stripe, Dr. Chrono, things like that. And Google and Facebook are really important. Because when we do the reporting of Google ads or Facebook ads, if and when you run those to a funnel that you've built, you'll need this integration to be able to, to populate them. Phone numbers. I'm going to actually add a phone number right now to get rid of this 
yellow banner that says you have no Twilio number associated with this account. And to be able to show you conversations and other things, I'm going to need a phone number. So when I'm going to click this green button, add new number, I'm in the United States and I'm going to use a local area code 402 and hit search. This will pull numbers in Twilio that we can scroll down through and look for a number that we like. I'm just looking for an easily type of remembered number. Okay. Once we hit save, it's going to register that number for us. Okay. Now, if I want to edit it, I can edit it and put forward calls to and put a, a, my cell phone. If I wanted to create a whisper message, do that here, a call recording, this call will be recording for quality assistance and then a timeout, how long you want to do. You can set all those settings up. If you want to delete the number, if I wanted to delete the number here, when I click on this trash can, a pop-up will ask you, deleting this number will remove it from Twilio and from high level. Do you want to continue? Okay. So since we, when we added that number, it went, the system went out and booked a number, really reserved a number in Twilio, and basically you bought that number okay it's a dollar a month right now on a uh, charge from twilio and when you hit the trash can it will remove it from here and from twilio's account okay. and you'll need this no a number for sending text messages calendars now calendars if you have one set up you, this is where you would add a, a calendar you'd set it up however you wanted We'll talk about the calendars later when we talk about the scheduling. We'll set up the calendar, but that's where you'd setting. If you had a calendar already set up, you can click this little pencil icon and you'd be able to change the name, the, the durations, the buffers, the, the colors, the times, the links, the one, the sync one way or one, or one way or two way sync or disable the trigger and then use a sticky contact. Okay, so this is where you'd set up your calendars and then any templates. If you had message templates, you'd go here. Custom fields. This is already pre-populated because of the snapshot. Custom fields are really neat to put into and really quick way to put into forms and surveys. And then Facebook form fields. We won't have it because we don't have a Facebook page enabled at the moment, so I can't show you that. Custom values is a way to put in custom links to things. Booking page will send them to the booking page value from email, change the email. Logo image will show that image there. It's just a quick way in, as you're building things out to put things in without having to do coding or anything like that. Domains, if you purchased, if you have purchased the name from any other domain registrars, that'd be and you wanted them to use, you would click this and then you'd follow the instructions. Very simple. You can just through your domain registrar, you can put in the, uh, create an A record or a C name record with this and it'll work. Uh, we have a video on that in the knowledge base. Tags. Now this is how you can tag different contacts. These are the tags where all, every tag that you've ever used through different opportunities, there's multiple ways to add tags, but they'll all show up here. And then SMT and Mailgun service. Right now you have Mailgun. You're using our email domain for emails. Highly recommend you setting up your own email for deliverability. You'd be able to select a provider here. Okay, that is the settings overview.